made it, we just moved Trump's mum in. If not, you carry. You carry hard, carry strong, you can't walk. Confidence, boys. Boys, forget the results, forget the lead. We've yeah. fought about it all week. Mm. It's in a while ahead. That hard quite a lot. Drove the points on the board. Be really pragmatic first half. <coughs> Let's see where we end up. Go hard. Um. Fucking 80 minutes. Nothing fucking eases off. Yes? One fucking chance, boys. Boys, what fucking hell? Hey, what this game is all fucking days where everything matters. Everything's on the fucking line. I'm feeling this club. Best fucking club for a team from Rivalry and the fucking buzz you get, anything I've ever been in. I've only been in two. <laughs> still, fucking heads up, boys. Tell you, there's no fucking lack of heart here today. Everyone's keen for it. If the boys turn up, we'll be alright. Edgy, but uh, I think we'll uh, I think we'll do it. Big crowd here today, and uh, we're confident. But it's going to be a real basement battle, as they call it. So we'll see. After that, feeling loose, ready to go. Big game, uh, must win. Second game left for me. I'm uh, hopefully to go out with a bang. Uh, it, it doesn't get much bigger in terms of what's at stake and what's on the line. Two teams both came up last year. Um, both had really good seasons in, in a league above. It's so tight um, that it all comes down to those tiny moments in games uh, and to make a bit of history. Um, so yeah, a ma massive game for the boys. Um, and yeah, a bit of nerves, but people feeding off that and, and just looking forward to getting that win. It's a huge game for both teams because a win for either side could decide both teams fight for survival and with two games remaining and only two points separating the sides it's definitely all to play for. 3pm kickoff here at the Rec where it's Falmouth versus Paynton. It's, that is a, a huge win. It just gives us such a good chance of staying up in this league. You saw a demonstration of what that meant to the players on the field. The commitment, the heart, the demonstration of what, what this match meant. Look how many people there are watching this. Is, you know, we've been fighting to stay in this league and that's given us every opportunity to do so. What it means to me as a chairman, what it means to me as a club, it, it's just a, a demonstration of total commitment and people putting their bodies and their heart on the line. Just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Uh, I thought it was an incredible game. Um, yeah, don't, don't give a damn, I didn't get on, mate. All, all that matters is that uh, the boys won. I thought defending right at the end when they had a rolling wall, I thought it stopped a couple of times and we, we did really well. Stan got up in the line out and stopped them getting a, a good set. So, yeah, amazing, amazing effort from the boys. And um, just fingers crossed that we can finish off and stay up, stay up now. Uh, yeah, putting a big shift. Forms like that, I think we deserve to stay up. I'd really, really be gutted if we didn't. Uh, we've just got to wait for the other scores now, see what happens. Ollie. Well, mate, yeah, great performance from the lads. Done well at the end there. Just stuck it in the corner and just trust our D, really. Yeah, great result. Fingers crossed we're safe. We're still in the fight. Um, it's important that we, we get something out of uh, next week's game. You know, it's not over, as you say. It's not over till it's over. and. Uh, there's uh, still a lot of work to be done in the next week uh, to get that result at St Ives to, just to make sure that we, we keep ourselves clear of that uh, relegation spot. Talk me through today's performance. What do you think were the, were the things to point out? What were the highlights of today's match? Well, first half I thought we played with an intensity. We got a, we got a real foothold in the game and, uh, and played well in attack. We took our opportunities really well, limited opportunities. And had it not been for a penalty right at the end, the, brought them back into the game at 18-6. Uh, you know, we were, we were going well. We took our foot off the accelerator in the second half, uh, certainly in the start of the second half, and they got the momentum swing. And, and basically that formed the whole basis of the second half. We were on the back foot, we were defending, all the decisions seemed to be going against us. And uh, ultimately we had to defend with great resilience and, uh, and great character. And uh, that last five minutes was, uh, again, just like the Devonport game seemed to last an eternity. 
and for the crowd though an exciting pulsating match yeah absolutely yeah it's uh i think we've delivered a few of those this year and we've got to be proud of what we've what we've done as i say every game playing against well-prepared teams in this league every game is going to be a tough game and uh, that was no that was no different today the uh, the club that i've absolutely totally saved here what do you tell the boys this week in training about tonight's match well, we just again, we just treat it as another game. We've, we've made a real point this year of just dealing with each game as it comes. Um, we haven't got ahead of ourselves. Um, we'll just look at what we need to work on from, from today. Um, but taking the great confidence that we've achieved from the last few games against going back to that Devonport game, you know, the, the St. Austell game, the Sidmouth game. We're, we're in a good reign of form at the moment and we go into that game with a lot of confidence.